This is the protocol for using the autoclave. You use the autoclave to sterilize things, so essentially all you need to know is that when you press the start button, uh, it's going to get really hot, it's going to get really steamy, it's going to pressurize, and it's going to, yeah, it's going to sterilize anything that you put in there. So now let's go over what the buttons mean and how to properly use the autoclave. So whenever you're using the autoclave, you're going to want to put gloves on. And before you use it, you should put a post-it note right here uh, that explains uh, your name, what you're going to use it for, and when you're using it, date and time. Um, and because the autoclave is uh, kind of a long process, it usually takes about, I think it takes about an hour, 90 minutes to run. Um, so you should put your start time and your end time and uh, be sure to take it out at the time that you say that you're going to take it out. So the way to open the autoclave, uh, this will usually be closed. Um, so all you do is you open this, uh, unscrew it this way. Actually, that's tightening it. So you unscrew it this way. and then you lift it open like this, and then you want to make sure that when you open the autoclave, you're standing over here, and then you pull the door out open like this. And the reason that you do that is if there's any problem, or if it's pressurized, or if anything goes wrong, you don't want to be standing here, because if you open the autoclave while it's running, the pressure, uh, well, it's going to be really bad. Don't You don't want to open it while it's running. Uh, I've actually done that before, and it's not good. So. Make sure that you're standing here because you don't want the pressure to send hot vapors into your skin. That's really gonna be bad. Um, and so then you put anything that you're gonna autoclave, you pull this tray out uh, and you put anything that you're gonna autoclave on the tray. Uh, and then you close it, tighten this handle, and you really wanna make sure that you tighten it until this, um, until this highlights the door closed light goes on. Um, and something that I didn't mention is that you never want to open the autoclave. Uh, so like I said, you don't want to open it while it's running. So the way that you can tell is if the PSI, if that pressure um, section is greater than one, definitely don't open the autoclave. <laughs> um, and yeah, the essentially that section tells you the temperature on the left and you can set the temperature with that button, this button, and then this is the sterilization time, which you can also set, um, and then this is the time to dry it, which you can also set, um, but if you just go up to the autoclave and you plan to use it, I wouldn't change any of these settings, don't press any of these buttons. Um, this goes on, this is the um, unwrapped, if you're putting unwrapped things in there, this is for uh, if you're putting wrapped things in there. I'm not entirely sure what it, why that's important. Uh, you can go to the manual if you want to know more about that. Um, and yeah, this is the clock. So again, uh, setting time. And uh, essentially, these lights will go on based on what like stage the autoclave is in. So. This right here is where you will pour distilled water in, but uh, if you're using the autoclave, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't mess with this. This is also the air filter. I wouldn't mess with this. Uh, the protocol is right here. Um, and yeah, if you if there's a problem with the autoclave and it's not filling with water, then I would consult a I would consult a teacher before dealing with. Uh, that piece. Um, yeah, I mean the gist of the autoclave is that you're not going to need any of these buttons. You're not really going to need to know. The most important things are this pressure, this pressure icon. Don't open it if it's over one or zero. If it's over one, don't open it. Um, and yeah, pretty much you just need the start button if it's running and you need to stop it for some reason. You obviously hit the stop button. Uh, this button's not important. It basically just like uh, if you press this button, it takes water from like the reservoir up here and puts it's like a manual fill of the autoclave. Um, so yeah, the rest of this stuff you don't really need. Um, it's all in the manual. If you need to consult that, um, then you can do that. Um, 
but yeah, essentially all you need is this start button. So some common mistakes that you might make with the autoclave. Number one, do not put plastics in here. Um, I mean, it's kind of common sense, but if you put plastics in here and it gets really hot and pressurized, um, it's really not going to be good. Um, also don't, if you're putting stuff in here, um, if you have one of these like Pyrex bottles, for instance, um, don't tighten the cap all the way because um, it's kind of just a safety precaution because I mean the Pyrex bottles are pretty uh, they're pretty resistant to like a lot of pressure but it's good practice that you don't want to tighten them all the way because if if you do it could implode uh, from the pressure um, yeah you definitely want to make sure that you close the door all the way before you run it I have never tried it but I, I doubt it'll run if the door isn't closed all the way but it's probably good practice to just uh, make sure that you see the light come on over here for when it says door closed. Um, definitely want to make sure that you're standing in the right uh, position over here when you open the autoclave. Uh, again, it's just a safety precaution. And um, another mistake you'll, that you'll make is actually just forgetting to run the autoclave com completely. Um, if you put stuff in here and you think you, you've run it but you haven't and you come back 90 minutes later and your stuff's not sterilized, then you'll be very disappointed. Um, don't open the autoclave while it's running. That's another mistake. I've It, it sounds simple, but I've actually made that mistake before. Um, and it can, it can be very dangerous. Um, and make sure that you put a post-it note on the autoclave as well. Uh, for reserving the autoclave, for when you're going to use it, and also while it's running, put a post-it note on there saying uh, essentially when what's in there and when it's going to be over, when you're going to take your stuff out. Uh, so yeah, I think that's I think that's it. That is the protocol for how to use the autoclave.